How's it going guys? It's Richard Unicorn Caller and the Summer 2021 Wizard 101 update is officially live right now, including a new pack, a free code, and everything else that's been included in the Summer Update. We're gonna jump right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my first time logging into the live realm. All you have to do is log in like you normally do, and it should already be downloading. Hope you guys enjoy the summer update. Everybody's gonna get one new spell. Definitely check out your professor. And we got Spreet Swarm for a light. Ooh, wait a second. Did they increase it by the uh, health? I can't tell if they increased it or buffed it, but whatever. But remember, all these new spells will have some spellments, so you can grind for the spellments and upgrade your spells to make them more powerful. We also got a brand new prequest, ladies and gentlemen. Go to Bartellaby, and this is going to be for the Lemuria prequest. Now, I believe you would have to do the first Lemuria prequest, which is located in the Arcanum, and you would talk to the old one. So, I'm not sure if you have to do that one specifically first in order to activate Bartellaby. Because Bartellaby has a quest for you, and there you go, continuing the quest to find Lemuria. Pretty interesting stuff. Definitely check that out. All right, we have to talk about everything else. New Monstrology Extracts, Insect, Draconian, and Dino. All are going to be located in Dragonspire, Azteca, and Chrysalis. Now let's talk about some of the new combat changes. First things first, um, your pet now can heal other players. Um, I don't know, I think that was part of the new combat changes. So for example, if my pet had a healing current, um, my pet would basically cast that healing current on one of my teammates. And they've also done some other combat changes, like from now on, you don't have to wait around in order to join in during a planning phase. As long as you're joining in on the planning phase, you can basically still use a card and manage to basically help out your team, basically. You know, instead of having to wait a single round and stuff like that, so... Definitely check that out. You might actually notice some of those combat changes. It's definitely really fun. And of course, we got the new emojis, ladies and gentlemen. This is the birth of the new emojis. Now this includes new skin tone, you can change the shade of the emojis, and of course the new heart emojis as well. We talked about that. Everybody is going to lose their mind on the live realm. I, I am excited to see everybody's reaction to that. But yep, new heart emojis ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Now speaking of hearts and all that stuff, new pre-quests going on. I absolutely love the Lizzo Fire Spitter quest that it will be located in Firecat Alley, but if you're a max level wizard, you probably won't have that quest actually spawn in. You'll probably have to play on one of your lower level characters, but I really like the Lizzo Fire Spitter quest. I loved all the references and stuff like that. I thought it was a cute little quest, honestly. It was a nice little, nice little quest. So, moving on from that, we got some stuff in the crown shot. Oh, wait, let me keep talking about the update. First of all, we got adventure parties, ladies and gentlemen. New social tab option. So all you gotta do is go to my adventure parties and you can make a group basically but first you want to make a group and you can open a group slot and you can invite people to basically like play I don't think I have any players online or I have to appear online first of all but then all you have to do is invite people to a group and that will basically create an adventure party I don't know why it's not working on it now but uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Just make a group and then you can make an adventure party. We discussed this. Adventure parties is more of like a sort of permanent way to keep in touch with friends and make some meetup time, see who's online and whatnot. It's a pretty fun feature, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Alright, moving on from that, I think we covered like, a big chunk of the uh, stuff. Um, I know they did some adjustments to PvP. I'm not sure. I'm kind of losing pace right now. But, let's talk about those new spells. There's actually more new spells, and these are the Ravenwood Lore Pack spells. Now, if you guys don't know, this is a pack exclusive, and I just read the, um, not article, but I just read the uh, thing they put on a website. Now, different from all the other packs, this one only drops spellments. Alright, I'm confirming right now that this only draw oh, that's what at least they said on the website they said that they literally said that on the website that unlike all the other packs that drop spells directly this just drops um whatchamacallit this just drops the uh thing the uh spellments 
that's a little um I'm not gonna lie you might have to open more packs than what you should be doing rather than getting the spell directly so I'm guessing that this is kind of the route that they're going with with the uh, new packs I'm a little concerned about that, but it's pretty much the same thing as the Celestial and uh, Spell Mental pack. So, yep, you gotta get the Spellments and all that stuff, unlock the spell that way and all that fun stuff. Good luck! They also have a Summer Monster Dome. I don't know if that's new or not, but pretty cool stuff. But, yep, there you go. And, of course, free code, free pack. It is called S'more Fun, right? S'more Fun. So, S'more, you know, like a S'more and then fun. I'll leave it in the description in the comments below. All right. Type that code and I I forgot when it exactly expires, but it will give you a free pack and again, like I said, um this free pack it will only get you the spellments. It won't give you the spell directly. It will just give you the spellment. So, we're going to open it up here, see what we get. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I got a treasure card. <laughs> I got a treasure card. Can't bandit treasure card. Hey, I'll, I'll take it. Why not? That's, like I said, y'all know I don't like opening up packs. Y'all y'all know this. But at least I got some seeds to plant. Why not? So, there you go. That's the first pack opening. Hopefully you guys get a little bit more lucky than I did. But I got a treasure card. So, well, there you go. Maybe we can craft it one day. Or maybe there's a crafting recipe. I don't know. Who knows? But, yep. There you go. Um... For that free pack and stuff like that pretty cool stuff so i think that basically covers it for the most part oh another thing in the crown shop and of course this is everybody's favorite they have the crown rewards option back and i believe this is for the new ravenwood rangers pack so if you're already doing a big pack opening you'll basically get additional rewards and this is the reward it starts at 3990 crowns so when you get to that threshold you'll basically get a quote unquote free pack and it doesn't matter what type of crowns you use it um you can use crowns for stitching or buying packs or elixirs as long as you're spending crowns and this one ends in the next four days 12 hours and yada 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 so there you go you get you know the crown awards i i think you guys or at least some of you guys know about the crown awards it's been there for a while but yep there you go ravenwood pack hopefully you guys get lucky on your little pack openings i ain't even gonna touch that i ain't spending no money <laughs> i ain't spending no money on that but okay I think that wraps it up for the main stuff of uh, the summer update. I'm sure I'm probably missing stuff, but there's some other stuff like the new uh, group bonuses. Um, so from now on, you might, from depending on if you're in the group or not, you can get these bonus mana whiffs and the gold whiffs for gold and some health whiffs. You know, some nice little features right there. And they made some general bug fixes here and there. And like I said, that they've um, made, messed around with the whole like May cast. So now your May cast might actually heal your teammate instead of you. They also changed the UI a bit. I actually really like the UI. I think the UI is nice for the uh, May cast. So I really appreciate that. I appreciate what they're doing. It is a 10 out of 10 update for me. I haven't seen any at least glitches or bugs for me. It just seems really nice. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Richard Unicorn Caller. And until then, I'll see you later.